So I wanted to share this beautiful Doom demo I came across for the Commodore 128. Uh, now it's obviously not a full demo in the sense of having sprites or anything, but uh, we do have a lot of Doom-like rooms here that you can run through very fast, I think. So the Freescape engine people might be familiar with on the Commodore 64, I think that runs at like one frames per second. So comparatively, this is blazing fast. <laughs> now I couldn't find much information on this initially. I posted about it and uh, got a link shared to me that was off of Tumblr, for example. So, uh, Dinosaur's Pens, uh, they, uh, Dinosaur's Pen, they speculate it's undated, but it's probably from around 1994, and it's a simple 3D geometry engine using dithered color palette to simulate lighting with a fixed camera height. All objects are composed of rectangles, no triangles, no other four-sided objects. The Freescape engine on C64 had these, so it appears to be unique. So, I have since found out more, and a couple things are correct that is a unique engine. Uh, however, it is not from 1994. It is actually from a 2009 demo from Andropolis. Uh, that is, let's take a look here, from Boo's Design and Instinct, released July 19th. And I can give a link to that in description. Um, the gentleman who did this, uh, Andreas Larson, um, mentioned a couple things about it. The um, demo, I should mention, is actually on C64 hardware, so there is a C64 version, that's the original, and it still runs pretty smooth. It's a little slower, as you might expect, but um, smoother, certainly, than anything I've seen on the Commodore 64 uh, for a 3D engine, so still pretty cool. Um, and Andres actually mentioned about the engine, um, it's the first and only portal-based 3D engine for the C64. Uh, portals is a recursive algorithm that helped determine visibility and also when to stop rendering. It completely avoids overdraws at the expense of clipping lines horizontally and culling lines vertically by top and bottom horizon. Gotta be honest, I'm not a programmer. <laughs> so, um, that is pretty cool though. It's done from scratch. So this is, this is a new engine, which I think is interesting. I look forward to seeing what maybe Andreas or who knows could do with this. I would love to see the idea expanded upon. So I do find the 128 version here though is kind of the one to look at. Um, it runs 160% faster evidently. And uh, according to Andreas, uh, not only uses the 2 megahertz mode in the border, but also the relocatable ZP and stack features. And in addition to that, uh, uses the top 64 kilobytes to unroll the EOR filter completely. <laughs> so again, I don't know what all of that means, but I know 2 megahertz is faster than 1. <laughs> so anywho, uh, the C128 does get utilized here. That little extra speed, I think, makes a difference think really gives you a first-person shooter-like feel, so I think it's exciting. Can't wait to see what's done with this. I am curious to see what the Super CPU does with this, so a little augmentation on the CPU. Um, I'd like to experiment in the en emulator here. Um, all I can do currently is jack that CPU up to 200%, so I don't know. Let's take a look at that and maybe dream of what could have been.